Everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows one another. Everybody calls <laughs> your friends. <laughs> Is that a song? Yeah. You don't even need an invitation. <laughs> Just kick off your shoes and come on in. <laughs> That's a real song. <laughs> That's Old McGregor. Riding my bike when uh, I was a kid everywhere. That's you rode so your bike cute. everywhere as yeah. a kid. I remember even when I was a kid, my bro my bike broke. And I was walking at home on, on McGregor and a policeman stopped and fixed my bike for me. That's like the cutest thing. That's what you get on McGregor. Flashback to the day that you ran away. You said to see your family. But I ran into you yesterday and you never saw the kind of you get raised here, you, your mom and dad raise you here, and then you're gonna go off to college, and then you're gonna go, I wanna be off McGregor too. Welcome to Living in Southwest Florida with McMurray and members. Today we're touring old historic McGregor Boulevard, and we're showing you why so many people love this area. Let's go check it out. That's a good shot. <laughs> I mean, when this golf course was um, done when we played here when I yeah. was a kid, yeah. it had Australian pines, it had all kinds of pines yeah. all over, Maluka trees, all that good stuff. Edison I mean, played now, that same course. Yeah. And Ford. Edison and Ford played. Yeah. Yeah. In the 20s. Tommy. Tommy. I yeah. took lessons here. I took lessons here and my dad made me quit because I couldn't stop laughing. Imagine that. <laughs> Fort Myers Country Club in the heart of town. Yeah. It's like an icon. City golf course. Yeah, public. it is. Open public to the public. Course. And it's the number one played course in all of Lee County. I've been playing here since I was seven years old. Grew up on this course. Yeah, because you own the house right there. Well, that was one of many homes. Yeah. We grew up in down McGregor Boulevard. We love McGregor Boulevard so much in this area because we went to elementary school here, middle school here, uh, high school down the street. Um, but we had that home right there. Mrs. Biggers, who used to own the Ford home before the city uh, got it, um, she grew up in that home. And she actually, before she passed, she knocked on our door and said, I'd like to buy your home. Isn't that amazing? And my, my father said, well, our home's not for sale. And she said, um, I grew up here and I own the Ford home. And he ended up selling her the home. Aww. Yeah. So then we built the home next door to it. Wow. And we just, we grew up on this course. It's a fantastic course. It's changed over time. I think it was done in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. Who's the designer on this? You got to look that one up. Wait, tell, Forget about don't it. Don't <laughs> see, but when I was here, this was just a little where you would putt. What's that? When I was little, this is just where we would putt. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I remember I was shagging balls over here. Big guy. Pulled out his driver. He just waxed one. Get hit right dead in the back. I just hit the ground. Oh. You know, this is one of the features of living down off McGregor. Fort Myers Country Club. And they do so many events for the family, too. They do movies on the lawn, and they have um, all sorts of events. Do they? <laughs> yeah. They really Who do. Who does that? The Edison does movie on the lawn yes. for the kids. The restaurant and the bar here. Yeah. Yes. And it's, it's friendly. It's uh, a friendly uh, restaurant for families, and it's a, it's a local's place, and yeah. we always hope that that's the way it stays because the locals like to come here. This is where you want to raise your family. Yeah. It's a great spot. Even though Southwest Florida has grown up and it's expanded, people still love this area. It's so funny. When you go off to college, you don't realize how special it is. And you're like, I'm never moving back to Fort Myers. <laughs> and then the first chance you get, you move back to Fort Myers. Feels like there's something missing. At least it's something different. And I can't help this feeling. I think I like it. This is Shadow Lane, one of the prettiest streets. The prettiest street in all of McGregor. Everybody wants to live on Shadow Lane. Yeah, because and it's of the because oaks. of these trees. Look at this. When you walk through, it's We just gorgeous. sold that one. Sold that one. We sold that one. We sold that one. We sold that lot. We sold that one. And we sold that one. And we sold that house back there. People love Shadow. This is why you move here. It's just for these trees. Yeah. 
This is the best street. It's not just the trees, though, that you move here for. It's the people. It's not just the trees. <laughs> in that house. Oh, yeah. and this is one of my favorite houses. And oh, I, I love that home up too. wanting this house and now we're neighbors. Yeah. So this is my street. And that's my cute house. Ooh, you got a pool? Yeah, <laughs> we bought this little pool. <laughs> Wait, don't get all that. Well, look, you don't got a, get all that. You got a car. No, don't get all that. Is that your car? That's or my so Fort Myers High School, it's over 100 years old, I think. Now. Definitely 100 years old. Fort Myers High School is 100 years old. How much you want to bet? Shake on it. 100 bucks. 1911. I'm not gonna bet. You kidding me? I love the 100 bucks. Wait, but do you remember the song that we would sing? Every all the alumni still go to the games. Do you remember at the end of the game? Every game, we always put our finger up and we sing the song. Do you know the song? Hell, I'm a martyr, hats off to you. Ever you'll find us loyal and true. Firm and unadaunted, always will be. Here's to the school we love. Here's a toast to thee. Okay, let's get back to the tour. So now we're heading downtown Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. Beautiful palm trees. Then you had the Ford home, mm -hmm. and then you have the Edison home. The Edison I mean, look at how beautiful this. So the Snell family. The Snell family. People don't know this, but a lot of people think McGregor just has to do with Edison and Ford, and certainly they played a huge role. They're the most famous people that have lived here. However, the Snell family developed McGregor Boulevard. They're the reason it's so beautiful and developed. They and then Edison lined them with palm trees. Exactly. The guy that owned this, he came from Sanibel. Lived on the beach on Aww. Sanibel. Came down here, fell in love with this area right here. Knew his son well. Um, and he loved uh, living here. Right next to the Edison home, too. Feels like there's something missing. At least it's something different. And I can't help this feeling. I think I like it. So City Walk. This is being built right here now. This is going to be beautiful. Great addition to downtown. You can't um, and these are going to be apartments. Publix. Breweries popping up. Bennett's is the best for donuts. Bennett's. It's kind of like uh, McGregor Cafe. You go there a lot? Well, I used to until it started sticking to my hips a little. Oh, Top okay. five places you love downtown. Um, the Bennett. veranda. That's great. The veranda's been there forever. Hey, it's fantastic. They, they have great crab cakes, I heard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Caesar salad, number two. I like downtown pizza, three. Uh, Ford's Garage. Oh, my gosh. The best burger. Good burger. Great theme. Let's see. What else? Four. Four. Well, the new restaurant on the oh, river. Oh, yeah. O Obix? Um... Now, uh, the new <laughs> restaurant on the river, I believe it's O'Banion's. No. I believe it is. O'Banion's? Yeah, O'Banion's. Obix. I guarantee, I'll bet you a hundred bucks again. A <laughs> hundred dollars! See, there it is, Obix. Oxbow. Oxbow. So we were Obix. both wrong. It's Oxbow. We were both wrong. So, so what fourth, are we? My fourth uh -huh. is are... Oxbow. Oh, Oxbow. My favorite thing about downtown is the parade every year. I've been in Daniel it my parade. whole life. Stella's been in it every year. And her first year she won first place as a little chick. That's great. I know. So much going on down downtown. It's gonna just gonna keep on getting better. There's so much energy um, that's coming on downtown. Well, a lot of people actually just ride their golf carts downtown for dinner. Do a little shopping, a little walking. Watch the sunset. It's not a bad spot. Ride your golf cart. Not a bad spot. It's where you want to be.
right over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what you get in Florida. You get dolphins. Yeah. The sun sets pretty much right there. So we're facing west. It's right in my eye. <laughs> if you live on the river or you live down one of the canals, there's different parts of McGregor naturally. Uh, McGregor goes all the way to the Sanibel Causeway. So by boat from downtown Fort Myers, you probably got about an hour, maybe a little bit more by boat because we do have some speed zones. This not is what a bad, Not a bad place to live no. on the river. What else, Kirsten? I was just saying, this is what you buy when you buy off McGregor. What do you buy? This, this beautiful piece. Buy it. Have a long day at work, you come home, ride your golf cart down to Snow Park and watch the sunset. That's what I remember as a kid living down here. It's just, you know, we always talk about, you know, backyards and front yards. The, the, the whole entire community is your backyard. Right. You know, that's why it's golf cart friendly. People right. People riding their bikes, they're walking everywhere. Yeah. That is your backyard. Yeah. So what do you think? Would you like to know more about living off McGregor? Are you thinking about buying or selling real estate? We know it, we live it, we love it. Call McMurray and members today.